Es que... Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hello, how are you? How's everybody doing? Good afternoon to this Sunday cooking class. It's Friday. It's Friday. What's going on? I... What's going on? What's going on? My father-in-law, her dad, is turning 80 tomorrow. So we're going to have a huge party tomorrow. Um, probably by Sunday, we're all in food coma. <laughs> we're like... Food coma. <laughs> we're going to not be able to M cook most likely. anything else. So as we're preparing everything for his birthday, might as well do his dis favorite dessert uh, today. So we're gonna, that's what we're going to be doing. Tiramisu, which is a super Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know. It's okay. not Spanish, but hey, that's it. Hola, Deb. Hola, Linda. Well, especially after the post I wrote in, a, in our journal, in our website, travelingthesteps.es, making fun of the <laughs> Italian I mean, we, prosciutto. We are making friends with Italians. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's the point. I love Italians. In fact, our brother-in-law is Italian. He's from Roma, from Rome. Uh, the thing is that... Spanish ham is a hundred thousand times better than prosciutto. But well, prosciutto is also And good. now we're cooking... An Italian. Italian dessert. Okay. It's like, yay, for tiramisu. So. Well, no, but we've got something. In fact, this is a family recipe because yes. the recipe belongs to my brother-in-law's mother. So this is the recipe from Nona. Yes. So this oh, is really an Italian Susie. recipe. Susanna, it is really... It is really Italian. Italian. It is from Rome. It, it is, is from... Our brother-in-law, grandmother. So, well, okay, they're from Tuscany. No. Yeah. La, yeah, she's from Veneto. No, she's from Tuscany, and okay. the, from the Veneto was the okay. father. I don't okay. know, whatever. Hola, Janet. Anyway, so we're cooking tiramisu, tiramisu. today, which is our, well, my father-in-law favorite yeah. dessert in the world. Uh, together with Tartatin, she couldn't no. make him, he couldn't make himself up, but we are cooking tiramisu okay. anyway. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> shall we start? Yeah, yeah, yes, so, yes. Okay. So let's go for that. Let's go, let's cook today. Hola, Susie. Hola, Janet. How is everybody doing? Sorry for this Sunday cooking class. <laughs> anyway, the, our fridge right now, it's packed. It's I mean, it's, well, it's empty of normal food. <laughs> it's like, take a look. Well, you know that I always have little you know, my fruits, my veggies, all of them exposed. But today they have a companion, which is another cake, because we are going to do another cake for my father-in-law. So we have... No, but that's not for my, for well, my that's father. It's for my niece. niece. Anyway, I love this. So today we are going to be cooking tiramisu, and this is what we need. We need mascarpone cheese, about nine ounces, sugar, 3.5 ounces, three large eggs, and a lot of cold coffee and finger biscuits. You love tiramisu, Cindy? So do I. <laughs> uh, so what's the deal? You see these, the quantities here? This is what uh, normally we do, but it is that tomorrow we are going to have a huge family reunion. We're gonna be 40, no, 53 at the end, 53 no, people. Uh, the idea was to be Whoops, sorry. 30. Well, yeah, the idea was 30, but it turned out to be almost 50, all of us, with two vaccines minimum. Yeah, all of grandparents us. Grandparents with a booster already on. Yeah, grand, so, grand, grandparents. grandparents with three. Oh, the with booster. three. Oh, that's a booster? That's a booster. Like, I didn't know that was a booster. That's a booster. So, everybody will be vaccinated. So, we're super happy because, in fact, it seems like the first time in I don't know how many years that all of her family were together, okay, with... Uh, brothers, sisters, grandkids, the whole thing. You have to think that we have one. Her brother lives in Australia. The other one lives in Seville. Our daughter is in Poland. The, tomorrow? Oh, by the way, if you have a chance to see my father-in-law between today much. and tomorrow, do not tell him because he doesn't know that our kids are coming. Anyway, well, if Lufthansa allows them to arrive, yeah. fingers crossed. Anyway, hola, Christoph. How are you doing? So good to see you. Okay, so let us show you what we have what? over here. Oh. Hola, Maite. Hey, qué ilusión. Linda, so all in your house. No, 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 no. We're going to a men's club no, no. here in the Basque Country. Oh. We have uh, societies, so that's what we do. Maybe we could show it tomorrow, make a little short live video tomorrow we'll morning. Try. Okay, yeah. we'll give it a try. Anyway, so we have 
double the quantities that we have written. So instead of 3x, we have 6. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of cold uh, coffee. We have 200 grams of sugar uh, and mascarpone cheese. And for decoration, we put some chocolate. Hola, Sara! ¿Qué tal estás? Okay, okay, where is Sara? Where is Sara? Where is Sara? Hola, can you now? Sara! Hola! Hola! Okay. Well, one of the things... Oh, sorry. Hola, Patricia! ¿Qué tal estás? We need the finger... Uh, finger, finger biscuits. Biscuit. I don't know how you call these type of or things. Spoon finger, spoon biscuits. I don't know how you call them. Anyway, what is a mess about tiramisu is that you need minimum three bowls. Minimum three bowls. One for the okay. coffee. And then, okay, so, let's, uh, I'll show you while we do it, okay? So, we need this. We'll see how it goes. Um, right, 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 right. So, let's, let's do something. Uh, Michael McConey. So, um, lady fingers. Lady finger. Okay, lady fingers, Linda, Deb, thank you for that. Let's see, I'm, 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 this is a mess. Well, it's not a mess, it's just. It's, it's a mess, right? So let's, let's just start with the eggs, right? Okay. Um, so, what we have to do is separate, separate the, the, egg, the yolk from the white. Yes. Look at the professional. Yeah, professional. Hola well, Francisco, que bueno el tiramisu. Sí, Rosario. Mm -hmm. sí, super, bueno. super good tiramisu. Okay. So yes. I think is that uh, this recipe was given to us by our brother-in-law's mother. Ciao de California, Ken Sabino. Buonasera, como estai? So, yeah, okay. So we are embodying our Italian spirit. Well, I don't know. I don't know what Nona will think about this, but it's it's a very uh, sad recipe. Well, only uh, you know we have a very close relationship with our brothers-in-law family, Italian family. We go quite often to Rome. I think it's in, for the last two years we haven't not seen the family, anybody? so we're like, oh, we miss them. We want to go to Italy. Oh, la Laura. I to travel. I mean, that's enough. Johnny is Holland. Hello. What? I'm saying hello to people. Ah, okay. Or oh, what well, you okay, divide the eggs. Separate. Separate. Yeah, you don't divide. You separate. I don't, set, I don't divide, no. Okay. How many do you have? Already the sixth one? Oh, sh. sh holy moly. Holy it's moly, <laughs> holy moly. I mean, you almost moly, said moly. a bad word. Moly was a life. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. So we have. All right, let me turn the camera around. Okay. On one hand, we have the yolks, and on the other hand, we have the whites. Yes. And so what we are going to do, let's put a little bit of salt here. A pinch of salt in the whites. The sugar. I mean, we use 200 grams. You, you have to Whoops, see, sorry. because we are not very much for sweet. Yeah, we're, I mean, it's sweet, but not way too sweet. So you put a pinch of salt in the whites and all the sugar in the eggs. Okay. So what, what are we going to do? So we are going to plug. Plug it. Otherwise, you know, I don't know how we are going to do it. Oh. My husband just brought me tortilla española that oh. he just made here in Minnesota. And we got the first snowfall today. You wow. got snow already. Well, we got in the Pyrenees the snow. Well, I love you, but you never used this before, have Ha ha ha. Okay. So, what we need to do... What we need to do is mix the egg yolks and the sugar until it becomes more or less white, right? Okay, so we just stir big time the egg yolks. What you want to do is, well... You can go somewhere else and tell them something because it's gonna be very nice. What do you wanna drink? You wanna drink something sweet? Let's see if we have some sweets. Okay. You know, we haven't prepared any alcohol for today. So, do you want a little martini? Do you want a brandy? No? You want something? You know, we rarely drink anything. So, this is our alcohol cabinet. And we just saw that this martini, it was from our wedding 24 years ago. We don't drink anything at all. Well, 
He does wine. And I don't even know if we have any wine. Paracatia! How are you doing? Good afternoon. Okay. okay. So, how are the yolks going? They are going. They're somewhat done. Okay. So, if you see, they're not orange anymore, they're almost white. They have to be quite white, okay? That's when you wipe them. Okay. So it's ready, but I need to clean this because uh, I need them okay. for the yolks. I need to make sure that this is okay. No, 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 no don't try it yet. Why? Because I have to put the mascarpone in. This is not allowed. Well, I'm going to see if the eggs are okay. Okay. Mm. It's just it's egg yolks and sugar. Can't be white. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Mario, now. Mario. Okay. So we put this. Step back. number two. Step number two. Um, Add the mascarpone cheese. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Add the mascarpone cheese to the to eggs. the eggs to the yolks. To the yolks, right? Okay. And I'm using um hard spatula for this because. Mm. This is 18 ounces of mascarpone cheese. Yeah. Yeah. You must, you, you missed it. I'm, I, I've done my homework. Oh, really? I have researched how much, because here in Spain, we don't go by ounces. Hmm, how do you decide when to use the mixer or the submission blender? This is the mixer? Yeah. yeah. If you have to put a lot of air inside something, you use the, the mixer. And if you just have to mix things, but you don't need so much uh, air, you use the Im immersion. So when you need fluffy and very airy, you put the normal, I mean, this. Okay, put this is something. I made a mistake, my, my boys. I, oh, I'm girl. Um, I, I can mix it with this. There she goes again, mixing the whole thing. Hi, Deline, how are you? Okay, ready? Ready? <laughs> you cannot lick it now. No, I'm not gonna lick it. I just want you out of there so I can use my spoon. Ay, mia, madre mia. It's because now everybody, you know, everybody is uh, watching him. I'm gonna be good, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's super good. You know, I love sweets, so. Ah, uh, mm. Okay. I mean, the mascarpone cheese is so. Kiko, ya? Yeah? Well, this is just a little bit. Kiko. I could live out of this. Okay, so now, we need to white it up. I mean, to. How do you say? Whip it up. Whip the yolks up as we said we have put uh, a little bit of salt into it and you just have to give it some time you need to really put some air into this so yes little by little it will a punto de nieve here we say in spain it comes to a point of a snow i don't know how to well, you know it makes pigs you say, in English, you say it makes pigs it made what? Peaks. 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 Like the peak of a mountain. Oh, it made peaks. Okay. Not peaks. Yeah, Susanna, you know, it is the best job in the world to be the taster in the family. Somebody has to sacrifice and hey. Somebody has to be that's ready gonna be to me. get poison. <laughs> soft peaks. That's what Deb is saying. You have to do soft peaks. Okay. We say snow. Texture, which doesn't make any sense because it's not a snow texture at all. Right. What? Okay. Right. Let's go over there and see what the boss is doing. Going fast. It's very important to put a pinch of salt because it gets, you know, to soft peaks much, much faster. And this is a very nice recipe. Yeah? I know. So, 
So tomorrow, I mean, we've been cooking for one whole week. We have, today we have, the, we're doing this, we've done this other cake. We have done potatoes. Uh, a couple of days ago, we did about 400 croquettes. So it's like a lot of things going on for tomorrow. But hey, it's our, my father-in-law's 80th birthday. So imagine, it's a big, big day and the whole family is gonna be together. So what can we say? Hey, a lot of work, but not bad. Okay. Spare, spare, hold it, hold it. I'm not pointing at you. Well, okay, so practice. now, what are you doing? Uh, it, it works, okay, this is soft fix, right? So if you just do it correctly, when you put it upside down, it doesn't fall. It doesn't fall. So now it's in the right texture. Okay, let me go to my image point. So now the thing is that little by little and without smashing the whole thing, this is the trickiest, the tricky part of the tiramisu. You just have to fold it in the, the white with the... Fold means you make this movement. Yeah. And little by little, you have to add the whole thing. Because I don't want the air to go out. Yeah. So the air that you have given to the whites, it cannot disappear. Be good. Well done. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is what it gives the texture to the tiramisu. Okay, so this takes a the thing. The tiramisu is quite simple, but it has two or three things that are very, very important. First, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, the whites have to be super, super hard. Second, you cannot mix it all strongly. Mm -hmm. You have to let those bubbles still be out there. Um, Second, the, the coffee needs to be good. Yes, the coffee needs to be good and it has to be cold. So I made it like two or three hours ago. I love this huge jar of coffee. So. And the chocolate that you put, for me, it has to be good. This is a, an ecological uh, Belgian Organic. Chocolate. Yeah, everything blue and blue and it's, it's very good because it seems silly, but it gives a flavor to the cake. Yeah. The, the decoration that we put... It's not a decoration. It's not a decoration. It really gives flavor. That little extra little chocolate on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, last part. But not least. <laughs> not least. Okay, um, oh. and you need all of the all the uh, eggs that you can get, right? If, if this is this gives the cake a fluffy. All right. Um, Let me take this. Uh, oh my, mm -hmm. that's heavy, huh? Let me organize. Well, oh, more than heavy, it's slippery. Like, whoops. Okay. Yeah, don't break it. I know it's, it's not a jewel, but I love that bowl. I know. Okay. Well, you know, it's got hundreds in Ikea, but... Yeah. Holy no. Ikea. That's mine. Okay. Um, Are you sure that is correct? That is right? If you try to, t to taste it, uh, yeah. you will get uh, a spatula full. Full of it? Can I eat more? Okay, right, let, let me try it. I mean, it's just... Kiko. No, no, no let you, me. You, you, Come no, on. No, esta no. A clean one. The boss says no. Mm. Okay. So, what do we do? Kiko, okay. no, 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 I'm not doing it again. Not again. Not again. I know. This is not just for us. It's for 40 people. Uh, Lina's asking, is it espresso coffee? Yes. Putsy. Meaning it is time consuming. Okay, Jen says, we say it's very putsy, meaning it is time consuming. Well, no, really, it takes no, 30 minutes. Yeah. It takes nothing. In fact, generally, it's, it's Fran and me who do it at the same time. Yeah, and it's very easy. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very easy. Yeah, and so remember that we're going to do a little one just for yes, our individual one. one. Just for you, darling. Well, we have to do four of these for tomorrow. Um, Putsi. Well, you, we should do it the other way around. 
Yeah, I don't know why you're doing it that way. Um, I'm doing it wrong, well, but it will manage. Okay, and so you want to make sure that uh, what okay. we do is we put some cold coffee on them or we just immerse them in the coffee. I go quickly because I, in fact, we do it the day before. So um, it doesn't get too, so, I mean, it's not hard. And, yeah. the, and, the, and the biscuits are... So the, the biscuits are a little bit soaked uh, into the coffee, but they're not like super, super No, I don't soaked. immerse them. I, just because I don't like it. Susanna says that you look tired. Yeah, well, we've been cooking too long, so... You know, in fact, my mother always does the same thing to me. She says, oh, we are going to be, let's say, 10. And then it's 30. And then it's 20. And this one was 33, and now we're 53. And we said, ah, oh, we'll do this and we'll do that. It's okay, we can do it. We're like, okay. It's not the same to go for 30 than to for 50. Yeah, but it's your mom. So I shouldn't say anything at all. Because no, no, she's great, but well. Yeah, I mean, I adore my mother-in-law, but she always, she always does it gets well. us in trouble. But hey, if it's family trouble and food related, we are fine with that. Okay, so well, as I was telling you, I don't soak them too much. Because otherwise, what happens is that they get very soggy, and I don't like that. Because I leave it overnight, so it's going to be at least at least eighteen hours. I think that you, I think it's good to feel the texture of the biscuits or the lady fingers. So okay, let's see how you in how much you. Uh, in fact, they look like some somehow hard, but in in the end, they get very soggy, right? Yeah, by tomorrow they will be all. Gone. And then you've also, we've also got the, the the humidity in the cream. Yeah. So. so yeah. But I mean, just give it. I mean, try. Try see what you like best. Well, Susanna, I'm not a good son-in-law. She's an amazing mother-in-law. Yeah, she is. Well, she is. She's super amazing when she's not um, doing her things. Well, it's your mother, <laughs> so. No, no, she she's great. Uh, semi crunchy. You, me too, Susanna. I think they have to be semi crunchy. Semi crunchy, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, tomorrow they will be ultra soggy and then the cake yeah. will have less texture. It's very simple. Some people put uh, coffee liqueur into it. No, we don't. Like, no, no, we don't. We don't like it and then the kids can yeah. have it. So for us, it's like no. Well, what, something that we never tell, especially my brother in law. He's like super straight with, her, you, with you, his you kids. You know that my, my, my sister-in-law watches this, darling. Well, hopefully not. Uh, we always tell them that it's decaf coffee. <laughs> when obviously it is not. <laughs> so the kids are... <laughs> okay, I'm a bad uncle. What can I say? <laughs> well, the kids. Not, not the young kids. They don't like no, it. Yeah, the, the, kid, the, the little kids, they don't like it. Anyway, sorry for that. Oh, yeah, you're really bad. Okay, so what okay. I, okay. <clears throat> so, Ron wants to have her, his little tiramisu. For okay, I'm gonna so. have one for tonight. So one little tiramisu one, for tonight. One, one for. So, in fact, when we do it at home for you know for a little birthday or something a little bit smaller, we like doing it in glass uh, bases and glasses because it looks very beautiful. So. Yeah, yeah, it looks beautiful, and it is beautiful. Well, let me, I think that you gave me a very small glass. Oh, because uh, I just... Sometimes... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll okay. do this like this. We just smash it in. All right. Right? Because uh, I know, I mean, I just like it covered because, you know, Fran is going to have it, but I am also going to have it. Okay, so now. So now, now you get a cloth. Paper cloth. Paper cloth. As you can see, we drink fact, a lot is, of tea. This is, this is Fran's work. Yeah. He should be doing this, but he's holding the camera. So you put about half of the cream inside. You just cover it with a good quantity. Okay, not just a little thing. Let's see. Whoops. That was way too close. Sorry for that. Sorry, sorry. That was very close. Let me get that out of the way. So you just, what do you do? You just do this. Okay. 
And we do it again. And then again. So, oh, I forgot which <laughs> which direction I was. This direction. Going. This direction. Okay, I'm going to do the other. And the other um, one. I cross them, right? So it's in, in one direction, and then the other one. Um, so this might this might sound boring to you. Maybe it's a long recipe, but for us it's a lot of fun because. We cook it together and then we, we eat. Susana is at a restaurant watching us cook it. <laughs> That's super cool. I know what you're going to have for dessert, Susana. Hey, if they have tiramisu, give it a try. It's not as good as mine. Of course it's not. Of course. Of course. Well, this is healthy and <clears throat> sugar-free and <laughs> yeah, so this is, diet. That's the thing. So I was going to... Okay, do you have hydrogen? It was in this direction. Okay, so... Okay. All right. So what you have to do is the second layer, you have to put it in the opposite direction that you were putting it, so it gets more stable whenever, for later yeah. whenever you serve it. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. So you, you have to have somebody reminding you which direction you were putting it. Right? That's the idea. Mm. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So you need quite a few... Uh, lady, lady fingers, fingers right? yes. And the thing is that, madre mia, this is, this is a mess. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go for that. Yeah. So as Susanna says, crunchy texture, right? You feel them crunchy. And then all of a sudden you feel that they are not so crunchy anymore. It goes quickly. Yeah, because all the humidity that is in a mascarpone mass, it will soften the... Mm. Hey. hey! Perfecto! Perfect. This is a new tray that we just bought for this well, occasion yeah, because we, we, and we didn't know if they were going to fit and they fit perfectly yeah uh, yeah the only thing is that it's going to cover all over well good enough no it's good enough yeah is it mm. just not our normal tiramisu tray? it is that normally we have a tiramisu tray but as we have to do we have to do four of these so we cannot we don't have four like this at home so we had to buy these ones and it's gotta be easy easy Yes, because it's Friday. It's Friday. It's not a normal day. It's not a normal day for cooking. Ah, oh, to this house. Well, we do. We always cook. We cook big time. Okay, let me turn okay. the camera. So. We're almost done with this second layer. I'm making a mess. Generally, I don't such a big mess. Okay. Hey, Linda, you're doing it for Christmas? Mm. You know what I like? Not everybody likes it, but I like to put strawberries in my dinners. Not, I don't. Not for Christmas. I don't like with... Strawberries. Because you're... you're... I'm not a healthy person. <laughs> no, we don't. So it's crazy. Okay, so now for mine, the little one. Mm, yeah, um, it's not gonna be super easy, darling. No, like that. Good enough. Okay, good enough, right? That would be good enough. Do you want this bit? Ah. Okay. Do it. Right. So please let me get rid of this because it's driving me crazy. It is that normally I know when we cook at home, uh, I know it's the one that is the cooking, the cook, the chef. And I am Santa's little helper. I'm always cleaning behind. <laughs> Some Santas? Well, you Santa. Yeah, I'm a Santa. Okay, so now, second layer of the mascarpone cheese. And then I always pray I've got enough, but I think I will. <laughs> you do have enough. I do have enough. I just quite well, I remember there's one for me missing. See, 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 no, don't worry. I mean, I've got a little bit for you, my dear. Don't worry. And, and, and I will not, you know. You know, when she calls me my dear or darling, I know I'm in trouble, so I have no idea what I've done wrong, but guess what? I bet I've done something wrong. <laughs> Ooh, and that a smile. <coughs> it means you're pissing me off. Okay, they don't have tiramisu at uh, Susana's restaurant, but oh, they have Susana. flan with churros. Flan with churros? Uh, That's weird. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Susana, so come over. That's the thing. Come yeah, over come and over. we'll make a super Spanish dessert for you. <laughs> okay, let me turn the camera around. You know, this is a bit small. Oh, the pan is not... Okay, you have here some... I've got a... Uh, uh, okay. 
and you have a little bit here too so you cover it i don't know are we gonna put the chocolate today in this or tomorrow not today today oh it's separate oh, okay 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 i thought it was like together both things at the same time like well, how do you do that how do you do that yeah but if, well i don't know you never know okay so now the good th the thing is that you have to put it the top part very flat so the chocolate that's right there we go the chocolate uh, powder lays flat on top of it and it's nice and perfect nice and then what happens is that you have to give the you i mean utensil. if there's some Leftover mascarpone cheese, I can do the effort and eat it myself. Yes. But you don't have to I be don't. like, per ooh. Okay. This is for me. Okay, that's for you. Mm. This is rude and very disgusting, but. <laughs> Kiko, por favor. I'm mm. cleaning. Mm. Yeah, Kiko is a cleaner. I'm the king of cleaning. Okay, so now, pon un tenedorcito, no? Ah, here. Yeah. So, as a presentation technique. This one? Yeah. So, what? Now, let's let's do this first without the fork. Okay. And then we'll do the small okay. one with the fork because I need you to hold it. Okay. So, what we do, it's just, uh, you put a, how do you say, how do you call this? A sieve. A sieve. Oh, let's say from Laraway. So, you're going to do the cleaning afterwards. Yeah, I do the cleaning. You know, I always do the cleaning. I can do the cleaning. <laughs> So yes, be generous and I don't know. Be generous and nice with your tiramisu. Por un poco más y va más deprisa. Que ya voy. Eh, uh, que me estás okay. poniendo loca. I'm stressing you. And the thing is that this is one of the desserts that is better if you do it the day, the night before. You have to. Okay. So don't do it and eat it right away. It has to be done the night before. The reason is that this way all the flavors mix together and they melt and they're like. Mega super delicious. Mega super good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I need your help. So right, now so this is done. Yeah, okay. So the tiramisu, it's done. Okay. And as a presentation thing, technique, or let's call it, I don't know. How, especially, especially now. What we do, it's we put. If you a put it there. Fork, it okay. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if it works. I don't know if it will work. Generally, it works, but it's flatter, and then nobody's holding it. Yeah, I'm... Okay, hold it. Enough. Ta-da! Well, it doesn't look too good. <laughs> Sorry for that. Well, good enough. Good enough. So maybe what we should have done is put it a bit farther away. Yeah, so it looks more like a fork than just... It was just, more like that, something... You know, like, it looks like the pow like, or the thing for a wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wolverine chimamizu. It's a strainer, not a sieve. Come on, strainer. That's what Abby says. That's a strainer, not a sieve. Okay, then it's, so can I can I eliminate the wolverine thing? No, I'm gonna eat it right now. Uh, no, no, you have to wait. Yeah, just wait until it's two hours. Okay, okay, my friends, that's it. <laughs> we finished. As you can see, it's not a difficult recipe, but it has a couple of uh, tips that you really need to take in consideration. Uh, if you give it a try, please let us know yeah. how it turned out. We love when you people send us pictures of your amazing culinary experiences. experiences. <laughs> so if you tag us on Facebook, we will know that you are there. Oh, by the way, happy Veterans Day. Today is Veterans Day in the United States. So for all the veterans, thank you so, so much for all this, your service. Uh, I, I would say that we live in peace because you are there. So thank you so much for uh, your support and your help. Uh, what else? Well, on Sunday, we are not cooking because we are cooking today. Uh, you know that all of these cooking classes are tip supported. If you want to leave us a tip, that would be wonderful. You have the feed down there. Uh, in the feed, you have our PayPal account. And what are you going to do on Tuesday? On Tuesday, I have no idea yet, but uh, if, I, if you don't get my email, it tell you what I'm gonna do on Tuesday, Please send me your email and I'll keep you updated with everything we do. Okay? Okay, that's it. Have a great, 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 great weekend. Everybody? And enjoy the tiramisu. And enjoy the tiramisu. Bye bye, amigos. Hasta luego.